Greg Fowler for Online London CA, and I'm with uh, controller Bud Polhill. And I'd like to ask you about the um, proposed bylaw with respect to overnight uh, parking, Bud. As I read the uh, um, what's being proposed, um, there doesn't appear to have been any consideration about how much this might cost should residents decide repeatedly that that they want to change their decision about whether or not to, to have but opting in over and opting, out opting in and opting out. Yeah. Um, if, a, if a block of, of residents decides, for instance, that, that they want to opt in or out, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but, but there will have to be a, a petition submitted. Um, is the onus on, on the citizens to do that petition and yes. send it in? Yes. So there's no cost. The city well, doesn't have to assume the, the cost. Just the of cost of reviewing it, of reviewing the petition. But it's it's a it's the it's a citizen initiated petition. So every time that that um, uh, the citizens do get enough names on, the, I think it's two thirds is what's being yeah. proposed. Um, if they come up with that two thirds and submit it, and it still has to be, it's not a done deal, it still has to be approved by a committee or by council? Well, no, if, if it comes forward to, to the, to, it'll come forward to ETC and, and, and it would get approved, uh, I'm sure, because if there's two-thirds of the, of the neighborhood doesn't want it or does want it, uh, it's pretty much a, 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 a given that you would, you would uh, respect the, the, uh, the community and, and do what they're asking. So assuming approval then, um, don't the signs on, on the street, wouldn't they have to be changed and isn't there some, oh, well, if, some cost they, to that? If they, if they don't have signs and, and, and then you would have to put them up and if they do have and they don't want them, you can take them, you have to take them down. So th there would be some, some, some work involved, yes. Now what, what about the, uh, the issue, for instance, of uh, um, those, those, those blocks where most of the residents are absentee land landlords or, or, or something mm -hmm. of that nature? Are, are, are there is there going to be more fine tuning of this, or there's is going to be more fine tuning? Be yeah, absolutely. Because uh, some of those areas, it would be they would be exempted from the uh, from the uh, uh, overnight parking, uh, based on the fact that the ward councillor understands the area and understands that there are empty landlords and understands that there's a problem there, and and the ward councillor will come through forward with the recommendation. So in addition to, say, for instance, commercial vehicles not being allowed to do yes. this, then there would also be designated blocks or of, of, of yeah. roads that, that wouldn't... Yeah, that's that. we're waiting for input from the, the ward councillors right at the present time to uh, come up with those, uh, those areas. Okay, thanks very much.